At 1.30 this morning, a five alarm fire on Wharton's historic town square. Volunteer fire departments worked through the night to contain it. Well, you can see what happened here. When the smoke cleared, there was a law office gutted by fire. But the neighboring newspaper office up and running, the publisher credits old school construction. These firewalls, which uh, this building was built in 1930, so whoever built it in 1930 built it right. The Wharton Journal Spectator dates back to 1886, has rarely missed an issue. Our deadline's at noon. And it didn't today either, even though employees saw a Facebook post overnight that declared the newspaper office was on fire. A little smoky, perhaps, but about to go to press. It's 11:10 right now, and we're almost done with this, so good, 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 uh, good news for East Bernard people. That edition will be delivered Thursday. The front page news okay. is that the paper survived to report its own story. And one of its columnists says there's a moral to it. Everything is fine. Yes. Newspaper people are tough. You should know that from television.